Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make slash commands in discord.js. Uh, slash commands is a really new feature that Discord just added, and it isn't and it isn't supported by Discord.js natively, so I'll be telling you how to use the API to make your own slash commands. So I'll teach you how to make a simple command like this, which where the bot replies with hello world, and then I'll make a more complicated one where I echo um, your content, so if you type in sdf hello test, it will echo that as an embed. So this is all pretty cool, I'll just tell you how to do all this. Um, before we get into this, I have a Twitch, uh, I'll be live streaming coding, um, video games and all that stuff, so make sure to follow, link in the description. Now, I don't want to sound like every other YouTuber, but make sure to check out and subscribe. According to YouTube, 98% of my viewers aren't subscribed, and it really does help the channel. Let's get into the video. So to start, open your IDE of choice. I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. You're also going to need Node.js version 12 or later. Unfortunately, this video is not a beginner's guide to JavaScript or Discord.js, so having some knowledge will help you out. So let's get started. Let's make a new folder. Slash commands. Let's start by making a file on index.js. And then just make a new config.json. This config, all we need really is a token because you don't need a prefix for this since the prefix has to be slash. So for the token, uh, you just put your bot's token in there. Now, back in index.js. So I'll just, um, we need to open up a terminal. I need a cd into episode 6. And then npm init dash y. Oh, that's an invalid name, so I'm going to do. I don't really care about the name and stuff. You can just enter. Uh, next, we're going to do npm install discord.js. That's save. Okay, we now have discord.js installed. Uh, so let's just initialize a basic client. So const discord equals require discord.js. And then const client equals new discord.client. Uh, now we just need a client dot login. Uh, we require the config, and then we take the token. Now we just do client dot on. So whenever the bot is ready, we want to register our commands. So in order to register a command, I'm gonna click console dot log ready. So in order to register the commands, it's really simple. All you have to do is um, type in the following: client. API. API. Applications, and then we do client. User. ID. Guilds, and then you do. So there's multiple ways to register commands. Uh, you can. The first method I'm gonna show you is it'll update it instantly. You'll see the um, the command instantly. This is best for when you're testing. And when you're done testing, you can use the second method I'm about to show you to do it globally. So you should get your, uh, get your server ID. Paste it in there. You dot commands dot post. And here you want the data to be the name of the command. So this is just going to be uh, a basic hello command. And then the description. Which is going to be replies with hello world. Now, the second way to do this, so I just copy and paste this. The second way to do this is instead of doing dot guilds, you just re completely remove that. And then you should do applications dot commands dot post. Now, this will take up to an hour to go through and to be into a peer. So this isn't recommended when you're testing the bot, but once you're done, it is recommended to set, to set it to this so you don't have to make an API call every single for every single guild you have. But for now, I'll just keep this since we're testing. Now for the second command, let's just do this, uh, the echo command. And then the description is echoes your text as an embed. Next, we want to pass in options, and then in here, we want the name to be 
content and then the description to be content of the embed and then this one should be type the type should be three which means string uh, i'll leave a link in the description for all the different types if i can find where they're listed but three is for string so it's gonna be so it's gonna turn a string and then required true so that's how to make a command with argument so normally you would do message client on message but for this we have a completely different system we want to do client dot websocket so dot ws dot on we're looking for interaction create and then we want to pass in async interaction and then put that into a function so now we can just do a basic command handler so const command equals interaction dot data dot name dot to lower case and then the argument so const args equals interaction dot data dot options now the way the arguments is handled is you see here how you have a name name so it will come in an array sort of like this so it will have a name oh uh, sorry it will have yeah it'll have a name right here the name will be whatever the, the name of the um the interaction is so this one or the option so this one will be content and then the value which would be whatever the user passes in so that's that's how this is formatted so now we can just do if the command is equal to hello then what we want to do is we need to send or reply to this it isn't as easy as interaction or reply or something like that so we just need interaction a client dot api dot interactions interaction dot id interaction dot token dot callback dot post and then data type for so that and then data content hello world so that's how you reply back to it this is the content that the api or that the bot will send back uh, for the echo command so if command equals echo then you want to find the content so const uh, description equals um, we'll do args dot find find it where the argument the arg the name of the argument is equal to content now if you have this name not lowercase and you can just set this to you know not lowercase but it should work anyways and then we do the value of that next let's make the embed so const embed equals new discord.message embed uh, we'll do set title echo set description description and then set Set, uh, set author author name should be um, interaction dot member dot user dot username now the um, interaction here it's gonna say any it's not gonna autocomplete any of this stuff because it's not built into discord JS at the moment um, and for the username this isn't a normal user object, so you won't be able to do everything you can do in Discord.js. We should be able to get the ID and stuff, but that's about it. Next, um, to send embeds, it's a little bit more complicated. You can't directly just send the embed object to Discord. You have to parse it. Um, so Discord.js already has functions for this, so we just um, create a function. So let's create a function called async function create API message. For the first one, we take an interaction. And for the second one, we take the content. Const API message equals await discord.api message dot create. So we create it where and then do client dot channels dot resolve interaction dot channel ID. And then we do content. And then we do dot resolve data and dot resolve files 
Then we can return here, so let's make a return API message. Alright, here we can send, uh, we have to send it, so we can just do client.api.interactions, interaction.id, interaction.token, callback.post, and this time for data, we do, again, type for, and then the data is, so we, the data would be await create API message, interaction is interaction, and content is the embed. So this should do everything there. Um, so what we can do, we can just run no dot, and it should turn on. Wait for Discord, wait for it to launch up. Yep, it says ready. And then now if you do slash hello, Hello world. Echo content is ASDF. Oh, invalid form body the field is required. Uh, we got an error here. This should be pretty simple to fix. Uh, what we need to do is we, instead of API message here, we should do dot 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 API message dot data. And, oh, and then uh, if you ever want files to work, you can also just add files as API message dot files. Now if you run the bot, should work, we get to do slash echo, ASDF hello, and there you go, ASDF hello. So that's the basics with intera uh, interactions and the new slash commands. I hope you find this useful. Make sure to subscribe since only 1% one or 2% of my viewers are actually subscribed. Uh, if you enjoyed this, like it, comment, help me out. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention. If you ever get an error when trying to use interactions, uh, something that says permission denied or, you know, missing permissions, uh, then what you want to do is, since com uh, slash commands require a different OAuth uh, thing, they require something different from the normal bot. So what you what you have to do is you have to go to discord.com slash developers. Select on your bot. Click on OAuth 2. Click on applications.commands. And you want to use this link. So if you want to invite the bot and have the commands, you'd also check that. And then you can just select the permissions and paste this in should have create slash commands and add to server.